Triglycerides are a type of fat found in your blood and correlated with heart health and potentially liver health. When we eat excess calories, those calories are converted into triglycerides, which are stored in our fat cells and our liver. When these triglycerides build up, it can accumulate in the walls of our arteries, increasing our risk for stroke, liver disease, as well as heart disease. Triglycerides are something that our doctors will normally check on our annual blood work. Recommended amounts of triglycerides is below 150, borderline is 150 to 200, and high is anything above 200. Now, how do we have high triglycerides is, and is it only an adult condition? No. At Healthy Subs Nutrition, one of the big referral sources for us is pediatricians and pediatric GIs who refer their patients to us kids who have non-alcoholic fatty liver disease due to high triglycerides. How are they having this at such a young age? It comes down to overconsumption of processed carbohydrates and excess sugar combined with minimal physical activity. So let's talk today about preventing and reversing this condition with high triglycerides. What do we need to do? First thing we need to do is limit the amount of ultra processed foods, excess sugar that we are consuming. We wanna stay active 30 minutes of daily movement every single day. We wanna make sure that we're incorporating fruits and vegetables that have that fiber that's going to help us lower our triglyceride levels. We wanna increase omega-3s, and we wanna make sure that we're limiting alcohol consumption. Now, what should you do if you don't know your triglyceride levels? Go to your doctor and ask for your blood work. Typically, blood work is done once a year, but if you are actively making changes and wanna see the progress, we recommend retesting in 90 days. You don't need to retest your blood work before 90 days because your average blood cell is 90 days. So when you take a blood sample, it's gonna be about an average of the last 90 days of what your patterns have looked like. So now that we know how to improve triglyceride levels, what should we do next? The first thing we wanna do is see where we are at on that spectrum. Are we below 150? Are we in the range where it's a little bit elevated 150 to 200 or is it high over 200 get your blood work tested and if you don't have that go to your doctor and ask for annual blood work from there you want to make those lifestyle changes and retest in about 90 days it's important to see where you're at and look at trends over time so that we can be moving closer to the fitness side of the continuum instead of the sickness side where our triglyceride levels are very elevated Taking control of your health isn't just about being borderline, it's about optimizing those numbers so that you can make health a way of life one step at a time.